But then the pragmatic side of it comes in, as you said. Mm -hmm. How do you pay for these? You know, you always see people coming in with economic arguments. Mm -hmm. And they say, look, these don't really add up. You know, in order to get health care for everybody, this is what it would cost. Mm -hmm. That's going to be troubling. Even if it's just the Republican tax deal, that's only going to make up 5% of what mm -hmm. we need to pay for Medicare for all. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, how do you pay? For education for all. How do you pay yeah. for all of these these ideas? So, uh, this is an this is an excellent excellent question. And in fact, there's a lot of back of the envelope stuff based on our values. So, for example, I sat down um, with a Nobel Prize economist last week. I can't believe I can say that. It's really weird. But, <laughs> um, but one of the things that we saw is if people pay their fair short, share, if corporations and the wealthy. For example, as Warren Buffett likes to say, if he paid as much as his secretary paid, 15%, if he paid a 15% tax rate, if uh, corporations paid, uh, if, we, if we reversed the tax bill but went, raised our, our corporate tax rate to 8%, which is not even as high as it was before, right. if, we, if we do those two things and close some of those loopholes, that's $2 trillion right there. That's $2 trillion in 10 years. And it's why one of the wide estimates is that it's going to take $3 trillion to transition us to 100% renewable economy. So we got $2 trillion from folks paying their fees, which they were not paying before the Trump tax bill. Right. They weren't, no, like, they were paying that before the Trump tax bill. If we get people to pay their fair share, that's $2 trillion in 10 years. Now, if we implement a carbon tax on top of that so that we can transition and, and Eventually incentivize people away from fossil fuels. If we implement a carbon tax, that's an additional amount of, um, of, of a large amount of revenue that we can have. And then the last, which is extremely, extremely important, is reprivatization. Just last year, we gave the military $700 billion uh, tax, uh, budget increase, which they didn't even ask for. They're like, we don't want another fighter jet. Like, <laughs> they're like, don't give us another nuclear bomb. You know? right. they, they didn't even ask for it. Gave it to them. And 